past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes, experience Jacques de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. there? A friend of the temple. Floarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom. We are betrayed. Draw your swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. Another hand is at work here. Oh. The assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Masayev, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are very little to play, less easily eradicated. We will not prevail this night. You make haste. We may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Run, Master. Go! Oh. Hold the bridge! Hold! Now, take a different way.
Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip! No punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! <laughs> flames of hunger and wrath. Thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys don't have their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD-16, B-13, I-87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Can't I 
go with you, father. Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, father. Not the likes of you. when we stole those apples. <laughs> I'm Arno, Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What shall we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry. They'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character Elise. of the Queen, Father? we should all be called Come here, Gary, now. Father? Carl, so you stoop the thief, you bastard! 
Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man. Oh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. <laughs> Just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. Of course, it's Sorry. Pardon, madam. Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please, excuse him, he's not housebroken. Like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. Get back in here! And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arboring a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno, who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. Sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Turn out onto the 
street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Wait! Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sir de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Make way, make way! Please excuse, wrong carriage. What I need is a bird's eye view. Monsieur, 
Je n'ai pas balancé à rétablir un usage oh, pour le royaume must have tailed me from the estate. une nouvelle force et qui peut ouvrir à la nation une nouvelle source de besoin. La tête de l'État, déjà immense à mon avènement du trône, s'est encore accrue sur mon règne. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Oh! Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Yuko! I suppose not.
Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Senor de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here, then. Elise never enjoyed these high society balls. She'll be home soon. Les tragiques. Too depressing. Mémoire de Monsieur d'Artagnan. Elise's favorite. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. Le traité du monde et de la lumière de Descartes. Never could get through that one. and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre, no guest. Ah, no. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way... No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles-Gabriel Sivet, two guests. Next, please. Quite the turnout. Quite! practically up in arms, and they're having a party. What's this party for, anyway? Not sure. Some kind of confirmation ceremony for the De La Serre girl.
Is it shift change yet? Will you let me back in if I do? What? Certainly not! Well then, if it's all the same to you, I think I'll stay up here. I can't remember the last time we were all together like this. Must have been that business with, um... M'accorderiez-vous cette danse pour gentil homme? Merci. Un autre jour. I did love the chase. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. And what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. father's suit are you wearing a dress don't even start i feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy it's not like that truth be told it's a lot of ceremony and pontification doll is dead well when you don't invite me to your parties everyone suffers i did try but my father was adamant your father go i'll distract them what you're kicking me out it's Complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. Go! even going to come out here. Ten to one I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. All right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre. Monsieur de la Serre. 
See there! Come away! Guards! Help! Murder! Bon Dieu! He's killed Lord de la Serre! I must speak to someone! Open this door! No one cares. I must speak with Elise de la Serre! Do you hear me? Elise de la Serre! Elise! Bring Elise to me! I'm no killer! Oh God! It's inhuman! The blood! So much blood! You're wasting your time. Where'd you come by this, Pisspot? I'm in no mood for this. Give it back! Take it back. If you think you can. my delicate flower, that I hurt your feelings. Well struck, Pisspot. 
see if your defense is as good. So much effort for a broken antique. Your broken antique in here is flapping his idiot jaw. Say that again. I'm not in the mood to say, old man. Give me what's mine, and go back to your crazy drawings, old man. Drawings? He's here. Everywhere. Scribbled like chicken scratches all over this cell. Where? where? Come here, you little piss boy. Get your hands off me. Look at the wall. What are you doing? Concentrate. Concentrate. What are they? Messages from the past. I had myself thrown into half the prisons in Paris in search of these. What's your name, boy? Arno. Arno Victor Dorian. Dorian. <laughs> of course. Pierre Belek. I knew your father. Bully for you. He died at Versailles. What? Well, 76. 77. December, as I recall, no witnesses. How did you... Your father was an assassin, Arno. He gave his life, fighting for the liberty of all mankind. You stick with me, you might just live long enough to join the Brotherhood. Honor your father's memory. <laughs> Listen, I'm sure your little cult is a delightful bunch, but I'm not interested. The only thing I care about is finding Elise. How are you planning on doing that from in here? Opportunity sounds a lot like cannon fire. Secure the prisoners. Follow the lead. Unless you prefer to rot here for the rest of your life. What do you do? Prisoners up against the wall. Oh, lose authority. I told you this was going to end badly. Silence. Stay back. <laughs> Oh, 
Out the window. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'll rip your liver out. Time to jump. What? Prison scrambled your brains, old man. Drink took care of that a long time ago. Now get up there! I can't! That's impossible! Impossible? That's the purview of every assassin boy! You can pluck your head out of your own arse. Come find us. You'd make a great fit. Goodbye, piss pot! You! Back away from the ledge! 